We have just shown you the Mercedes B-Class facelift with a normal petrol engine. And well, there's some very different version as well. There's a natural gas version and there's also the Mercedes B-Class electric drive. This one is especially important for our friends in the USA because this one is actually the only B-Class you can get with the electric drive. So especially for our American friends today, this review of this version and also of course for everyone else who's also interested in this electric drive version. It is very interesting, I can promise you, and we are showing you the special features here of the electric version and also just what you can expect in general of that car. First of all, this is a very important mix here, a very interesting mix, because this compact premium van usually sets against BMW 2 Series Active Tour or the Volkswagen Golf Sports van, but they don't have electric versions. Then again, if you think about the electric cars, well, a Tesla for example is way more expensive as a sports car, against that one, well, you could maybe take an e-Golf or you could also take the Ford Focus electric but then they are not compact vans. So this one is kind of standalone at the moment, in my opinion. And so it's even more interesting to be reviewed that car. The range is supposed to be about 200 kilometers and there's also a range extending pack available, which is supposed to add 30 kilometers to the battery. Same battery, but just a different loading process. We're going to take a look at it in detail later on. So we begin with the exterior now. In general, with this B-Class facelift, we got new headlights and also the LED daytime running lights are integrated in this unit in here now. Especially for the electric drive, we got basically two colors, either the white or a blue color. And then we got the contrast colors each. So if we got the white color here now on the chassis, we got the blue fins here, or if we got the blue color, we would have had an in white here. So this one is a special styling package for the electric drive car and it continues right there. So at this white car we also have the blue mirror caps here which is also a very nice detail. I love when colors are contrasting. At the side we got this electric drive sign here. In my opinion it looks a bit cheap and it is really unnecessary because when I want to have this electric car and I mean it looks great with the contrast white and blue why extra saying here it's electric drive? I think it just looks like a marketing presenting car and I wouldn't uh, like to have it as a customer. On the other hand, we got very nice alloys here, 18 inch, special style here for that one. And I think they look very sporty. We also got a new rear end for the Mercedes B-Class, but if you haven't had the B-Class so far, you won't see much difference, especially here in the electric version. We got the badge here and of course we got no real exhaust. I mean, who needs an exhaust these days if you got such a great electric drive? In general, the interior of the Mercedes B-Class now after the facelift is in my opinion the most beautiful among the compact premium vans. You see a very clean design, fluent lines and also very stylish surfaces. The vents are especially stylish in my opinion, this new Mercedes-Benz style here. Um, the only thing that is looking a little bit old-fashioned is the button unit in the lower part here. This one is still kind of from the old model, although the buttons are not that high anymore now. They, are fl they were flattened out and so they don't attract so much attention. Also the climate unit is at the very lower part of the interior and that might be a problem when you're driving and you get distracted because you're doing something 
at the lower end here. Especially for the electric drive versions, we got, you know, contrast stitches are one of my favorite fields of expertise. And in this case, they are blue. You see, there are blue contour stitches here around all the dashboard, also going to the co-driver. And we also see them here at the seats. In this case, we also got two stitches, one in blue and one in white, and they go around the seats. This one is a very nice element. Um, it might remind you of the e-golf because we have the same color scheme there. What is special here in the electric version in the middle console First of all, this button here is the range extending pack. If I press it, it turns green and that means that at the next loading process the range can not only go up to 200 kilometers on the paper at least, but also to 230 kilometers. It's the same battery, it's just a different loading process. Um, the battery is kind of stuffed more, but you shouldn't do that all the time because it maybe can change the durability of the battery. So you should only do it if you are expecting a longer trip at one special day. By the way, um, the warranty for the um, battery given from Mercedes is 100,000 kilometers or 8 years. Then let's check the other buttons. This one for example here. There we can ch uh, change the driving modes. It's um, possible to go sport economic and economic plus and that um, has also effect on the battery i'm telling you soon about uh, more about that then we got seat heating here also here in the electric car and this one here is very interesting um, this button firstly checks okay is it warm or is it cold here and then for example when you go shopping um, you can put it on and then there's an automatic climate uh, climate function so if you get um, back from your shopping trip uh, the car is cool in summertime or is uh, maybe heated up um, in winter time. This is possible because we have this big battery here, so it's a special function here for the electric car. It's not possible with the petrol engine, but it also consumes something of the battery. So I've explained to you this button in the middle console. That changes here the driving mode E, E, plus and S for sport, and then also the range changes. So we have here 100 kilometers of range right now um, because the battery is half full. And then we may put it only to E or sport mode, the range decreases because more power is drawn from the battery. We got better acceleration and um, then it's also possible if we go to the drive mode, we can change the recuperation with the shifting pedals at the steering wheel. D plus means almost no recuperation. D or D auto means it just does it on, on its own. And then D minus says the car is recuperating even more. And that is, uh, for example, good when you're going downhill, then you don't have to use the brakes that often. Um, about the range in general, um, well, I'm not sure if it is still really 200 kilometers. Um, they say so, but we already know from, um, from other testing um, of electric vehicles when it's for example winter time the range dramatically goes down maybe even 150 kilometers or less we cannot test that here today um, we have to do that in a longer test but we can tell you something about driving this car in general About the seating position, if you want to have more vehicles, vehicles on this, check our petrol um, version review. But I can just give you a brief overview here. In my opinion, you have this upright seating position here in that compact premium van. And this is very comfortable, especially for long journeys. So I'm very satisfied with the seats. Maybe for tall persons, they could be a little bit longer here. But in general, you get a nice, comfortable seating position. Also, about headroom, no problem. Then if you change to the rear department, easy entry of course. And this one is kind of the real surprise here because uh, even as a tall person you can very well sit in the back. I've got 
almost that kind of headroom. Um, then about the, the legroom, well, it could be a little bit more, but um, I would also travel with this car if you're a tall person in the back, that shouldn't be such a problem. You just have to maybe not take the tallest driver in the front and then the tallest person behind that one. About the battery, it is placed um, kind of in this lower central part of the car and we can only hardly see that the battery is actually here, I can show you. Because, you know, usually we wouldn't have this bump here, because it's obviously usually a front wheel drive car, the CSB class. But in this case, we see that something is placed beneath here. But that's good actually, because we then do not lose space in the trunk. And exactly this, I will check it out now. You see, there's a cover that was removed right here, so we have even a little bit more space. And you see, there's, you can also compare it to the other review. You still have the full space and that's very good and it will also be a great advantage in comparison to other electric cars because you have so much space here. So a very attractive package in that respect. I really love driving electric cars because they are so silent got a very relaxing atmosphere in here and you can just take a deep breath maybe even sometimes don't don't listen to music let other people drive okay he wants me to drive but then again if you want to go fast it's also no problem because you've always got that instant talk the figure from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour or 0 to 60 miles an hour is 7.9 seconds and that's pretty impressive for such a car in general, for such a compact van. And you really <clears throat> have the, well, if you calculate the power, it would be like 180 horsepower for this electric engine. And we really feel that if we adjust press the throttle, it goes immediately forward. And it's, it can be a lot of fun to drive, of course. But then again, if you're driving an electric car, you're also um, often interested in keeping the range high. Um, so you maybe don't push the throttle that hard as you maybe would uh, do with a big petrol engine, for example. I'm just enjoying this very silent atmosphere and it's agile at the same time. I think I would directly go for the electric version. Uh, of course, it is always more expensive than the normal version. Um, it's well it doesn't have any use to tell you a price now because um, for not for every market the price is out yet and they also differ from the market and of course in the US you only get the electric version um, but it might actually be a good choice because this car in connection to the electric drive something very unique in my opinion well and then in general you got a very relaxing and comfortable ride also from the suspension. The suspension is totally flawless, so also a good addition to the whole driving characteristics. And you get a very sporty steering wheel, got a perfect structure here at the sides, and you also got this sporty look. And it helps you also a little bit to forget that you okay you are in a very versatile car, maybe a car for your family and well of course, it's not that kind of a dream sports car. But then again, if you got this very nice look and the power of the electric drive, that can also make it pretty funny. Now I've turned on the D minus mode. That means when I lift the throttle, there's the maximum recuperation and I can do this one pedal um, driving or I have the one pedal feeling. That means I'm steering the car without the brakes I'm just using the throttle pedal because it automatically breaks when I lift the throttle again. Um, but in general I would recommend not to use the recuperation that much because it is even, um, even better for the range when you let the car roll the maximum it is actually possible. And you really have to look forward what happens when can you already lift the throttle. And this one is will be very important to keep up the range. I would go in the maximum recuperation if you go downhill for a very long time, for example. So in general, just put the auto mode and this will actually do fine. 
I'm now looking forward to maybe to a longer test that we really, really can test the range and see if that really works. give you a short overview about the loading process here. Um, with this um, special loading box or wall box at home, you put this one in that one and then it takes about three hours to give a full charge. Starting here, like you just used from a petrol cars. Then you put that one in here and it starts loading. Actually this one is fixed then with a very good so now, now, and then it's kind of fixed and I have to close and open the car again that I can remove it. And if you load it just at home with, with normal power, you just have at home and at your household, it takes up to 10 or maybe 11 hours. So that one should stay overnight then. Hello together, my name is Jochen Mager and I'm the product manager of the B-Class Electric Drive. I'm proud to present you the new Mercedes-Benz B-Class Electric Drive today. Um, our main task with the B-Class Electric Drive was to create a zero emission vehicle without any compromises. A real Mercedes. Zero compromises means zero compromise regarding the drive train. You have 132 kilowatt, 180 horsepower, 340 newton meters. A maximum range of 200 kilometers and an acceleration from 0 to 100 in 7.9 seconds. No compromises means, in addition, um, that we place the battery in the underfloor of the car. So we have no compromise and no limitation in interior space and luggage capacity. So you have five seats and 501 up to uh, 1456 liters in the trunk. The third point is that we have no compromises regarding the safety and the driving um, comfort systems in the car. So a collision prevention assist plus a serious standard in the B-Class electric drive too. And last but not least, no compromises regarding the paint and the interior styling. So uh, our customers have the chance to individualize the B-Class electric drive exactly in the way they want to do it with 10 different uh, paints in the exterior and with all the trim parts and uh, uh, interior styles they are used from a normal Mercedes-Benz. We're gonna offer the B-Glass Electric Drive, or we already started to offer it in uh, July in USA. There was a huge um, pull effect from the United States and therefore we heard to our customers and started on the 15th of July to sell the car in the United States. The market launch in Western Europe will start on the 29th of November in Germany and will continue on the 28th of February in Western Europe. So um, I hope I could, uh, could have given you a lot of information or nice and good information regarding the B-Class electric drive and um, I hope you are as excited as I am to see the car on the road. Thank you very much. Can you give us some more details um, on the electric drive line design-wise? Absolutely. Uh, you have three different lines in the B-Class electric drive and style line starting with 17-inch uh, light alloy wheels, different trim parts. Um, you have the um, urban line in the B-Class electric drive and with, what you can see here is our electric art line for all the customers. They want to show that they are driving an electric vehicles. You have the grill with the um, blue uh, fins. You have if you look on the car on the left hand side you see the 18 inch wheels specific for the electric art line you see the blue mirrors um, uh, sorry the blue mirror caps that are specific and the electric drive sticker on the um, on the rear doors can you also get it without the sticker but just the blue I think is it possible? Um, in the package of the electric art line the stickers are included so um, that's the uh, package in um, addition to the Cirrus white uh, paint. You can also have it with the South Sea blue paint. Then the grill, uh, the mirrors and the sticker is in a white contrasting color. 
beside the exterior features of the electric art line, you also have special um, equipment in the interior. So you have an Ambitex or leather Artico interior in black with blue and grey stitchings and you have a, a leather dashboard also with blue stitchings. So these are the components of the electric art line. And um, the price is almost like an AMG line? or. You, we are not communicating prices yet. Uh, the sales release will be on the 3rd of November um, and then the final prices will be communicated. Why did you go for the electric drive version in the US and why haven't you introduced the normal B-Class there? Um, there is a high motivation of our, our customers, especially in the zero emission vehicle states, in the smiling states in the US. And uh, they wanted us to offer an electric vehicle and therefore uh, we heard the, the uh, wish of our customers and introduced the B-Class pure electric uh, driven in the United States. Which competitors do you see? Because there isn't hardly any electric compact van in the premium segment. Mm. They're rather like premium cars which are like normal compact cars. So how do you see the competition? Mm. Um, normally we don't talk so much about competition uh, or competitors. Um, but uh, I think generally speaking you see a lot of uh, cars in the micro and in the compact segment also in the US in the electric drive market. So. If you look on the customers of the B-Class electric drive, we see um, young families or um, green motivated uh, um, customers there. They are living in uh, cities or they are commuting between cities and therefore the B-Class electric drive without the, the um, compromises maybe other electric vehicles have um, from our point of view is the perfect vehicle to um, yeah. Uh, offered to, to these customer groups. So to sum this car up for you, I think it's a very special mix to have this compact premium van with this electric drive and it will be very interesting how this car will perform especially on the American market. For example, here in Germany um, there are hardly any electric drive cars uh, on the way yet. We have a um, percentage of 0.2% in the whole market for the for new car sales. Well, that is kind of awkward in my opinion. There have to be more benefits maybe um, tax-wise. For example, in Norway electric cars are way cheaper than normal cars and that really helps the market for electric cars. In this case, I'm pretty convinced of the electric drive as well because the range seems promising and also the function, for example, for the, um, for the climate function inside and this even range extending function also looks quite of promising. So in general from the riding comfort here it's really superb, great suspension by Mercedes and this is a good combination to this very relaxing and silent electric drive. So in my opinion this combination works and will also appeal to a lot of electric car drive customers. And so I will want to hear your opinions on that one now and see you at the next Autogefuel episode. Bye.